Once you join LoadPilot, there are four things you'll want to do before you start brokering loads. The first is you're going to want to enter your customer's information. Go up here to the Contacts tab and you'll see there's shippers, consignors, consignees, and personal contacts. This is important because it'll save you a lot of time uh, because once you've added this into what we, this is basically what we call our address book, once you've added in all of your customer's information here, every time you create a load, LoadPilot will automatically fill this in for you so you don't have to type it every time. So for example, just click on shippers and then come here, you'll see any shippers you've added previously. We're going to go ahead and say add a new shipper right there and just fill in the various information here about the shipper and the items with an asterisk next to it are required and the rest are not. Uh, here where it says turned on, maybe you don't want to use this one anymore. You could turn them off or on. And once you're done, just go to the bottom and hit save. Uh, of course, one thing you want to keep in mind is if you're working with agents, you can assign it so that either everyone uses this or, you know, all of your agents or only a certain agents are allowed to use this person. Here for credit limit, if you want to limit how much money they're allowed to use, you could turn the credit limit on and say maybe set a limit of like, you know, $100,000 or something like that. Once you're done, that means once they've reached this it, for the total loads in LoadPilot, it won't let their, your agents move any more loads with them until they pay you what they owe. So go through uh, each of your items in the contact for shippers, consignors, consignees, and add in all your customers' information. The next step is we need to set up any load board memberships you have. So go to account, go down to load boards. And here, um, some of these load boards are, are free, but uh, some of them require memberships. So for each one of these, go to their website. You could just um, click right here where it says create account and it'll take you over to their website. And once you've registered with them, they'll give you a username that you enter right here. And that's, this is what's going to let, allow LoadPlay to integrate with these load boards. And you just hit save once you're done. Now keep in mind there are other load boards that LoadPilot uses, but they don't require memberships, which is why you don't see them listed here. Um, once you've set up your load boards, the next thing you want to do is go set up any agents. So we'll go here to the Agents tab. Now keep in mind, this only applies uh, if you have a full paid LoadPilot account and you've purchased agents. Not everyone will have this. But in this case, so we have several uh, agents on this account. If we wanted to add another one, we can just click on Add Agent. Or if we don't have any more on our plan, we can click on Buy More Agents to add agents to our account. We'll go ahead and create a new one. You just enter their information, first name, last name, and such. The, uh, most of these items are optional. You don't need to put a phone number and such. You, you do have to put email address and password. And this is the password that this agent will use when they log into LoadPilot. And you as their broker will be able to see and track everything they do. So you have total control over what they're up to. Um, here at the bottom, we have something called access level. We have something called a super agent. The super agent can do everything the broker can do, basically. So essentially, this can help you man like a management type position can help you manage other, other loads for other agents and such. Um, also, our, our commission structure, you can enter the information of how much they, they make. So it says your broker fee, and then above that, what percentage do they get? And then there's different breaking points. Then say above 100, they get 20% or so. So put in your commission structure. Once you're done, hit save. Uh, the last thing you'll want to do now that we've set up our agents is go ahead and put in our uh, what we call our terms and conditions. So go up here to uh, where it says account and go to fax message. So whenever you send um, faxes from LoadPilot, which is a really great feature that it offers, you can automatically straight from LoadPilot fax out rate confirmations and invoices and uh, bill of lading and quotes. But there are messages that are automatically attached to that. You know, for example, whenever you send a rate confirmation, you got your own custom message added to the bottom. So we can edit what all these messages say. Same thing, there's a message on quotes or one on rate confirmations. There's one that goes to invoices. So we just click here and say we want to edit this message. This is the default message will be added to every single rate confirmation. You just come in here and you can see it looks very much like Word, like we can just type whatever we'd like right there. We have the ability to use like bold and italics and all, all kinds of things just like using a Word document. And once you're done, just be sure to hit save. That's the four basic steps in setting up your LoadPilot account. Please let us know if you have any questions.